Great. So uh, let us quickly uh, begin with the session. Now, when we talk about art, art we need to understand is a universal form of communication and creative expression. It is often used as a language that expresses uh, perceptions of the world around us in different forms. And like I told you, it can be visual art, it can be performing art. So you can see this image here, it talks about both visual and performing arts. The visual arts are forms that create works that are primarily visual in nature, like ceramics, drawing, painting, sculpture, printmaking, design, crafts, photography, video, filmmaking, architecture, all of these are visual arts. So you can see this, this is optical illusion. This is the famous painting. Do we know the name of the painting? You can quickly put it in the chat box. Come on, let me see. Let me see what comes up in the chat. Do we know the name of this painting? Lovely Kavita Khanji, congratulations. This is Mona Lisa. Okay, what is this looking like? This is a Lego toy creation. Uh, and this is also something made like the Indus Valley civilization. Uh, yes, Titi ma'am, that was Mona Lisa, the masterpiece from Leonardo da Vinci. This is the Lego toy creation of bricks. And this is not Mona Lisa, this talks about uh, the bricks and uh, how you could have used Lego toys as bricks. So you can see the different Lego puzzles here. They uh, talk about, they show you different images, how students can use these to put the puzzles together, put the pieces together and create. We are here to encourage creation. Now performing arts, they are basically the arts or skills that require performance in public in front of an audience. Uh, sometimes we say acting, singing, these are performing arts, dramatization, role play, uh, opera, theater, magic, illusion, performances, you know, mime. Or if you watch television, India's Got Talent, or uh, some super singer, or comedy circus, or something of that kind, when you come onto stage and do some kind of a performance. Now that is your performing art. Even public speaking is a performing art. So sometimes in school, when we do a group discussion, it is also a performing art. So you can see, Mera Naam Joker Jaisa Ye Koi Performance Hai. Or these are dramatizations from uh, Shakespeare and uh, era. These are dance performances. Mime. Now, when we talk of art integrated learning, we are seamlessly trying to integrate art with different subjects. I think my voice is audible. Uh, Titi ma'am, am I not audible? Yes, okay, so Bedyanath uh, Thakurji, uh, you may kindly exit and uh, try and rejoin. I think the voice is very loud and clear.
and art takes today uh, the art topic that we have is an interdisciplinary approach where you integrate art with languages math science foreign languages native languages social sciences history religion all of this as an interdisciplinary approach now why do we need art integration in education so firstly we want to reduce the curricular burden by making learning more meaningful more joyful we want to enable holistic development taking care of all the three domains of the cognitive affective and psychomotor domain of the bloom's taxonomy we want to enhance the skills to communicate and the power to express to help a child become more sociable to develop the aesthetic sense enhance creativity among children and art as a powerful medium of expression is a very very strong pedagogical tool so if you could tell me which is your partner state for ek bharat shreshth bharat activities i would really feel happy you can mention it in the chat like i told you i am in maharashtra odisha is my partner state so which is your partner state west bengal west bengal lovely so it's your neighbor as well and uh, you are able to uh, quickly find out a lot of things about west bengal so uh, plus being in your neighborhood your students can visit west bengal it's not as far away as maharashtra and odisha are we are in the west and east of india so it is really a very big problem to physically give our students the experiential learning part of the integration but you can do that you are not as far away so let's quickly move ahead i personally want to show you uh, the art integration in your own subjects so when we talk of student engagement हम किसी बच्चों की शादी तो करवा नहीं रहे कि हम इनकी एंगेजमेंट करा दे तो हम एंगेजमेंट किसे क्या समझ रहे एंगेजमेंट इज गेटिंग देम इन्वॉल्व इन द क्लासरूम ऐसा कैसे हो कि आप क्लास में पढ़ाए और बच्चे सो जाए आज जैसे आप तिथि मैम भी बता रही हैं कि बहुत से एजुकेटर्स आज थके हुए हैं स्कूल है बोर्ड ड्यूटी है पर कोई बात नहीं इट इज ओके we have all the energy in the world so uh ye bachcha bhi aapko bata raha hai ki teacher bar bar bolti rehti hai student engagement but i am too young to get married hum bachchon ki shaadi nahi karwa rahe hum unko subject mein involve rakh rahe hain that is student engagement aur isse kya hoga learning classroom situation mein badhega maximize hoga there will be a healthy learning environment in the classroom bachcha padhna chahenge jaise maine aapko dance teacher ki mathematics story samjhai waise aapke apne subjects ki bhi koi na koi story zarur hogi it promotes meaningful learning monitor students learning outcome boredom laziness passive learning environment se hum bachkar kuch alag karke bachchon ko padha sakte hain and hum you know as a alert active or smart global citizens for the future taiyar karke bahar bhej sakte hain jo critical thinkers ho rational thinkers ho jinki soch aise ho ki jahan aapki soch khatam ho unki soch shuru ho aise bachche hamara ujwal bhavishya bane so student engagement is the product of motivation and active learning it is a product rather than a sum because it will not occur if either element is missing now let us take a quick look at the core subjects 
And the first uh, kind of activities I am going to keep in general with all of you is puppet, mask, costumes, drawing, painting, creating clay models, construction of building or environment, making props from recycled materials, etc. So now I am once again opening the chat box and you are going to quickly in the chat box, tell me for English, what are the art integration activities? What activities would you be integrating for English? I'm sure there are English teachers here who have been doing art integration in the last two or three years. Listening and speaking for communication, Abhijit Sarkar sir writes that. What about the other English teachers? Drama, art gallery exhibitions. Wonderful, Titi, ma'am. Chanting, Payal Laddaji, rapping, lovely. So we create a rap song and sing it. Wonderful ideas. Great. So let me also move ahead. So in languages, let's look at the languages first. We have... To read poem. Yes. Thank you, sir. Uh, so Payal Ma'am says uh, pantomime and Ajay, Ajay Mishra Ji says students show how art is not transitory. Rhea Gupta Ji says story by seeing the picture in smart videos. Absolutely. I agree with you. So uh, now the teacher is showing symbolism. She's showing a fish that didn't do his homework. Now, if you bring the fish out of the water, it's obviously not going to survive. So the figure of speech is langu in language is not meant to be taken literally. It's a creative, vivid image. It includes similes, metaphors, personifications, alliterations, uh, sound of the syllable. All of uh, these things are uh, actually figures of speech. Now, in the process, I have shown you a comic. I have shown you what a figure of speech is. I have spoken about symbolism. Now, look at this, similes and metaphors. And you see what a student has come up with for similes and metaphors. So love is like a blooming flower, that's a metaphor. And the rain felt like kisses on my face, that's a direct comparison, simile. The slices of bread jumped out of this toaster, suddenly scaring me. Which figure of speech is this? Let me check in the chat. The slices of bread jumped out of the toaster, suddenly scaring me. Which figure of speech are we talking about? Metaphor, Abhijit, sir? Is it not a personification where the... Uh, I thought it was a personification where the slices of bread are personified and given a human form to jump out of the toaster to scare me. Great. So it did look like a personification to me.
the needle was this big. So uh, which one is that? Do I see hyperbole or do I see a personification or exaggeration, onomatopoeia, alliteration, simile, personification, metaphor, All right, I'll give you thinking time. All the English teachers in this uh, August gathering need to put their thinking hats on. All right, Titi ma'am has raised her hand. Yes, Titi ma'am. Can you please, uh, can you please repeat ma'am? Okay, I will repeat. Which figure of speech is this? The needle was this big. So all those of you who did not know it, I leave the th English teachers to wear the thinking hat and they can probably let you know, Titi ma'am, later, which figure of speech did they find out. You're as skinny as a rail and you're a mountain. Which figures of speech are these? So, Titi ma'am, for the previous one, you're right. Uh, Ria Gupta ma'am, the first one is uh, a simile, and Ajay Mishra sir, yes, it's a metaphor. Abhijit Sarkar sir, simile and metaphor, absolutely. Now, creative writing in languages. So, when we talk about creative writing, we talk about descriptive writing, you show a picture and you ask the students to describe in the descriptive writing about what they see. Or in story writing, in a language like Hindi, you can see this kind of a video is on. Chua or Parbat, ye koi gai ki kahani hai. Or there is uh, some jadu nadi over here. So you can give students these kind of uh, scenes to view and write stories. Or idioms, what we call Mohavre. No do gyara huna. Is ka matlab kya hota hai? Hindi bhashi shiksha kame batai. No do gyara huna. भाग जाना हां जी भाग जाना भाग जाना और ना, नाक काटना अपनी बेइज्जती करवाना अपनी बेइज्जती करवाना देखिए वो दिखा भी रहा है पिताजी बेटे को 0 और 100 स्कोर आया है पिताजी बोल रहे हैं नाक कटा दिया और ये क्या है हवा से बातें करना ऊंची छलांग लगाना Bilkul, bilkul. Absolutely. So, our Hindi shikshak, Hindi shikshak, sare ki sare bahut zor daar aaye hain. Jiski laati, uski bhais. Pataiye. Jiski laati, jiski laati. Haan. Ani, ani apni taga se jo hai na sampati ko arjit karna. Bilkul. Dusre ki sampati ko bhi arjit karna. Bilkul, bilkul. So, we have a simple sa meaning. Simple sa meaning. Karna, thik, ha, ha, nahin, a, arjit karna. Jiski laki, uski bhai, siska matlab hai ki, kisi dusre ki bhi sampati ko johane jabardasti apne kabje mein karna. Bilkul. Shakti shali ki vijay hoti hai. Aisa hum. Ji, shakti shali ki vijay. Jiski laki, uski bhai. Bilkul. Aur dhobi ka kutta na ghar ka na ghaat ka. Iske baare mein kya bhai? Matlab... धोबी का कुत्ता ना घर का ना घाट का हां नहीं मैम मैम धोबी का कुत्ता घर का ना घाट का ये जो हां मेहनत करके कोई फायदा हासिल नहीं कर सकता धोबी के पास में जो भी की जाता है काम कर दूसरे की कपड़ा करता है लेकिन वो उसके घर का नहीं है यानी कि जो है ना किसी का नहीं होना 
बिल्कुल किसी का ना होना ना आर ना पार कहीं का भी ना होना किसी का भी ना होना बिल्कुल हाँ। बिल्कुल और मैं चैट बॉक्स भी देख रही हूँ बड़ी अच्छे से चैट भी चल रही है हिंदी अध्यापक बड़े अच्छे घूम रहे हैं तो हिंदी मुहावरे चल रहे हैं भैंस के आगे बीन बजाना यानी मूर्ख हाँ, व्यक्ति को ज्ञान की बातें समझाना तो हम बच्चों को ऐसे हाँ, मुहावरे हाँ, दे सकते हैं उनसे हम बातें कर जी, सकते जी, हैं जी और बच्चों से हम इन मुहावरों से वाक्य बनाने को कह सकते हैं वाक्य रचनाओं में इन मुहावरों को पिकअप करना सिखा सकते हैं यस सर आप कुछ कह रहे थे हाँ हाँ मैम भैंस के आगे बीन बजाना यानी जो हमारी बात को नहीं समझता है उसे जो है ना मूर्ख आदमी को समझाना भी यदि वो नहीं समझा इसका मतलब कि उसके आगे भैंस यानी बीन बजाना लेकिन फायदा नहीं हो बिल्कुल किसी दूसरे आदमी को हम कह रहे हैं यदि वो समझ नहीं रहा है और हमारी बात यदि सही है तो इसका मतलब हुआ किसी के आगे भैंस बजाना ये बंदर वाला दूसरा है ऊट वाला तीसरा है और एक अक्षर वाला तीसरा है मोस्ट ऑफ दीज आर मुहावरे हिंदी बंदर क्या जाने अदरक का स्वाद वेरी गुड बंदर क्या जाने अदरक का स्वाद तिथि मैम ने हाथ रेस किया है तिथि मैम बताइए काली काली ऊँट के आगे जीरा जीरा का पूरा ऊँट के आगे जीरा वेलकम वेलकम नहीं नहीं ऊँट के मुंह में ऊँट ऊँट का जो अधिक खाने वाले बात सामने में जो है ना थोड़ा सा भी कुछ नहीं है कि जो अधिक खाने वाला है उसको थोड़ा सा मिला काला अक्षर भैंस बराबर काला अक्षर भैंस बराबर बिल्कुल बिल्कुल पहला वाला क्या है बंदर क्या जाने अदरक का स्वाद हो चुका है ये क्या है शेर पे सवा शेर शेर पे शेर पे गुड कंग्रेचुलेशन तो हिंदी भाषियों ने बड़ा आज मैदान मार लिया है जी अभी चलिए मैथमेटिक्स वालों की क्या हालत है देखते हैं ये देखिए मैथमेटिक्स में हम आर्ट को कैसे लाएंगे हम सर्कल पढ़ा रहे हैं मैथमेटिक्स में तो देखिए सर्कल वाली जितनी डिजाइन है आजकल तो टेलीफोन में मोबाइल फोन में भी ऐप निकल जाते हैं जो आपको बोलते हैं या डिजाइन रेडीमेड है यू जस्ट हैव टू नंबर वो नंबर भी दिए हैं आप वो नंबर पे क्लिक कीजिए वो कलर आता रहेगा अपने आप तो हम बच्चों को ऐसी डिजाइन सिखा सकते हैं तो अपने आप बच्चे अच्छे अच्छे डिजाइन बना भी सकते हैं या मैथ्स में सब्जेक्ट एनरिचमेंट एक्टिविटी करवा रहे हैं फ्रैक्शंस में शेडेड पार्ट आप बता सकते हैं कि ट्वेंटी परसेंट या पॉइंट ट्वेंटी या ट्वेंटी अपॉन हंड्रेड या थर्टी अपॉन हंड्रेड या फ्रैक्शन ऑफ अ शेडेड रीजन कितना है तो बच्चों से हम ऐसी एक्टिविटीज करवा सकते हैं ना हाउ टू ड्रॉ गणेशा विथ सिंपल बेजिक शेप्स तो ट्राइंगल स्क्वेर रेक्टेंगल सर्कल आप देख सकते हैं सिंपल सिंपल चीजें स्टार्स ये सारी चीजें उसे ये गणेशा की मूर्ति ड्राइंग की हुई है और आ, मुझे लगता है शायद एक आध बार मैंने आपके साउथ में भी ये करवाया था आपसे घर बनवाया था आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर यदि आपने ये एक्टिविटी पहले ना की हो तो आप अभी भी कर सकते हैं एक घर बनाइए यूजिंग बेसिक शेप्स एक नोटपैड या पेपर पे छोटे से पेपर पे एक घर बनाइए यूजिंग बेसिक शेप्स तो आई पुट द गैलरी व्यू ऑन बैदनाथ सर माय वॉइस इज अवेलेबल It's loud and clear. सभी से 
अनुरोध है एक पेपर लीजिए और क्विकली एक घर की ड्राइंग कीजिए और मुझे अपने ही कैमरा में ऐसे रख के बताइए कोई बड़ी तीर बड़ा तीर नहीं मारना है बेसिक शेप से घर बनाइए यहाँ मैथमेटिक्स के कितने टीचर हैं? खुर्शीद सर आपने वर्चुअल बैकग्राउंड लगाया है तो आपके ड्राइंग नहीं दिख रही है खुर्शीद खान The virtual background does not let us see your drawing. Okay, so uh, there is uh, Galaxy J two who is going to quickly show us. so you can focus your camera on uh, drawing absolutely sir congratulations you have a brilliant focus there kurshit khan has drawn a very similar house congratulations to you sir and if you go to see 33 crore ki abadi mein uh, bharat ke sabhi uh, bhartiya aisa hi ghar banayenge आप देखिए सभी के घर एक जैसे लग रहे हैं मैंने गैलेक्सी जे टू का देखा मैंने खुर्शीद खान का देखा रिया गुप्ता देवजीत पाटी सबके घर देखे बिल्कुल एक जैसे बने हुए घर हैं तो आप देखोगे तो पूरे देश में किसी को भी बताइए कि घर बनाना है ऐसे ही घर आएंगे तो जिन्होंने अब तक घर बनाए नहीं है घर, घर पर बैठकर घर बना ले आई एम श्योर यू विल गो होम दिस इवनिंग डू मेक अ हाउस एंड थैंक यू रिया मैम डू मेक अ हाउस एंड यू विल रियलाइज हाउ फन इट इज टू अंडरस्टैंड कि हमने बचपन में अपने दिमाग में ये सोच कर रखा है कि बेसिक शेप से घर बनाना मतलब एक ट्राइंगल के नीचे एक स्क्वायर खड़ा कर दे साइड में ऐसा ट्राइंगल कर दे नीचे एक रेक्टेंगल कर दे अंदर स्क्वायर और ये बनाकर दरवाजे खिड़की बना दे तभी हमारा घर बनता है हम कभी ये नहीं सोचते कि हम सिलेंड्रिकल घर भी बना सकते हैं इनफैक्ट सिलेंड्रिकल हाउस इज प्रोन इज अ सेफ हाउस टू अर्थक्वेक हम कभी ये नहीं सोचते कि हम अगर नीचे से चार स्टिक लगा दें और हाउस को एलिवेट कर दे तो वो हो जाएगा एक फ्लड प्रो प्रूफ हाउस अ फ्लड रेजिस्टेंट हाउस हम सारे लोग इसी में लगे रहते हैं कि हमें बेसिक शेप्स यूज करने हैं वही बेसिक शेप से अगर हम रूफ के नीचे दो लाइन करके उसे ट्रायंगुलर ऐसा सपोर्ट दे दें तो वो साइक्लोन प्रूफ हाउस बन जाएगा तो यही तो हमारी सोच है हम सोचते यहाँ है बेसिक शेप से घर बनाना है पर हमें ले जानी है अपनी सोच आगे कि बेसिक शेप से भी घर हम कैसे आगे ले जाएंगे so let me quickly reshare my screen aur aapko yaad dila do yadi meeting khatam ho jaye to hum dobara milenge jab tak hamara program aaj end na ho so ye aap dekh sakte hain match sticks and toothpick se bane hue different shapes hain cylinder pyramid square cube triangular prism cuboid cone सिमेट्री uh, में बटरफ्लाई बना हुआ है ग्राफ पेपर में ये आर्ट बने बना हुआ है ये शायद मोर है एल्गोरिथम्स फ्रैक्शंस का आर्ट है ये ये बड़ी बड़ी मुश्किल चीजें हैं आर्ट टीचर्स को पता है ये शायद ग्रेड नाइन एंड टेन के बच्चे करते हैं और मैथमेटिक्स टीचर्स जानते हैं कि इन चीजों को कैसे अप्लाई किया जाए 
तो मैथ की वेबसाइट्स भी हमने दे रखी हैं आपको अगर आप मैथमेटिक्स टीचर्स हैं तो आप एक स्क्रीनशॉट ले सकते हैं या आपके काम आएंगे नाउ कमिंग टू सोशल साइंसेस एंड हिस्ट्री दिस इज अ कोलाज सो व्हेन यू टॉक ऑफ डिफरेंट पीरियड्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री यू कैन आस्क स्टूडेंट्स टू ब्रिंग इन पिक्चर्स एंड क्रिएट अ कोलाज or roman coins and indian coins when you're teaching economics you can ask them to uh, create coins as they study in uh, the chapter money and the financial system or you can ask them for uh, going to a virtual tour of the museum in the pandemic most museums across the globe offered virtual museum tours at the same time you could ask them to create a virtual museum tour using a ppt or a video then harappan pottery that they see in uh, grade 12 uh, and grade 6 you can ask them to create such pottery with the uh, shapes and decorations in geography you can ask them to uh, show them a picture of a rain forest or show them a pamphlet a tourist brochure you can ask them to create it you can use origami so they can make wildlife uh, and you know the birds and animals of the forest using origami paper folding then lego is used in geography jaise maine aapko pehle bhi bataya tha uh, there is a map you can always zoom a map you can always show them gravity disturbance on the earth then you can show them images or you can ask them to paint natural disasters droughts floods earthquakes uh map symbols as a legend okay so there are some of the best uh, geography apps i have in store for you and one such app is on your screen educational app store which is very useful for geography now science and art if you combine science and art you can create magic so uh, this is uh, i think uh, when you use batteries and you try and uh, join wires and needles you can create electric motors harry potter wands stem project so somebody has actually created those harry potter wands in science using art now someone's taken a leaf Ah. Dip it in paint I mean, and put it on yeah. paper there, yeah. and yeah. Uh, you can see how yeah. different yeah. it has become. Yeah. And the uh, drawing is well labeled as the blade, the veins, and the petiole. Uh, you can do a baking soda activity. You can uh, explode your earth with earthquakes and volcanoes. Uh, sometimes. poems are very good scientific concept so when you're talking of the shadow you read out a poem or you do word search so you give the words and ask them to search or you do mnemonics so uh, chemistry teachers do this in geography we do uh, Indiana Jones can run swiftly, followed by bees. So these are the tributaries of the Indus. A uh, refraction of light. You can see how it's done over here. The experiment is shown. The difference between refraction and reflection are shown. uh the model of the gall bladder and the stomach and the large intestine can be taken to the class and with this i quickly wind up my session there is exactly 1 minute and 30 seconds left and uh, before i wind up i would love to thank mamputur mishra uh, dtc ararya 
Sahode and Mamtiti Chatterjee, headmistress and SDNC Mithila Public School for coordinating this session and inviting me here. At the same time, I'd love to take this opportunity to thank Sri Tarun Kumar sir, Deputy Secretary and Head CBSC COE Patna for uh, sharing his blessings with us and uh, gracing the occasion. And all of you wonderful participants for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am, for this wonderful session. Uh, you have used various devices so that you can use art integration across curriculum. All the subjects you have covered today, ma'am, and in a very specific manner you have taught us. So I'm, we are really thankful and we have to utilize the way you have taught us. That is the thing. Being an English teacher or mathematics teacher, subject doesn't matter, ma'am. It's uh, we people who are going to uh, integrate art across the curriculum. Thank you very much, ma'am. And I'm very much honored that today our DGC, Mrs. Putul Mishra had joined also. Maybe due to a busy, hectic schedule, Tarun sir couldn't join. But uh, hopefully in future, we are going to have some more sessions. Okay, and hope he will join one day. The meeting will end soon, ma'am. Sorry to interrupt. Thank you, 